This century has the potential to have the greatest impact in human history for many reasons. The effects of climate change will cause severe disruption, space travel will become commonplace, and weapons of mass destruction are still becoming more capable. However, one technology could vastly overshadow the impact of everything else. Artificial intelligence. As artificial intelligence becomes more powerful, and if a general intelligence is created, how could we control it if it isn't designed correctly? While now somewhat out of date, I would first suggest watching these two videos that I previously made or read the still pretty up to date wait but why post to understand why an artificial general intelligence may not be friendly by default. Robert Miles on YouTube also has some excellent explainers on AI safety topics who I will link below. For the purposes of this video, we will be examining different methods of controlling an artificial general intelligence or an artificial super intelligence shortened to AGI and ASI respectively, and we will break down why each of these methods would very likely fail. While there are many competing ideas for an artificial general intelligence, in this video we shall refer to one as an intelligence that is able to learn and understand any tasks that a human could do, at least to a human level. This separates it from a narrow intelligence, such as a chess engine, that while being able to play chess at a superhuman level, it would not be able to paint a picture at even the simplest level. If we were to release an artificial intelligence either onto the internet or distribute it through the real world, we must get it right the first time we do so. Getting such a powerful intelligence correct on the first try could propel humanity into the greatest golden age we have ever experienced. However, if we get it wrong, what options, if any, do we have to stop it? Just turn it off. Let's just say the ASI is not distributed around the world, but rather kept in one facility as a monolithic intelligence. Any intelligence that is truly intelligent will understand how to disguise its actions as benevolent until the last moment. So, the problem is not actually about being able to turn it off. It's the fact that any ASI which understands that we would try to stop it and what stop whatever it is planning would not reveal what it wants to do until it is reasonably certain that we would not be able to stop it. In other words, it would act nice until it is not. And when it is not nice anymore, we would not be able to get anywhere near the off switch. Don't connect it to the internet. There are multiple problems with this approach. The first is that by default, an ASI is more intelligent than humans in every single domain, including psychology. This means that it understands how to manipulate people into doing something that they otherwise would not do. As a human, it is hard to imagine what it might do, but some examples include imitating a manager who is asking for the ASI to be connected, promising a gullible worker great reward if they connect it, or threatening a worker to connect it. But let us say that we do not get it connected to the internet, and it remains disconnected and isolated. Great, you've contained your ASI which had bad intentions. The big problem is, you now need to repeat this process to make sure that the next ASI is made in some other lab and is also contained, and the next, and the next, and so on. It would make a lot more sense to create an ASI that we are reasonably certain will be safe, rather than just trying to contain them. Because even if you can contain your intelligence, there is no guarantee that some other organization will do the same. Only connect it for a few seconds. Connecting an ASI to the internet for just a few seconds would allow itself to copy out to the internet, through the cloud, and essentially ensure that it can never be turned off. A few seconds to us is an eternity to a computer that can think for the equivalent of years every few human seconds. Don't make it too smart. This option has the same flaws as connecting it to the internet. Sure, you can contain your intelligence as just an AGI or an ASI that is limited in some areas, such as psychology and weapon building. But the problem is that someone else will build an intelligence that is capable in these fields. As a result, it is a useless endeavor to think that this is a solution to the artificial intelligence control problem. Any intelligence we make needs to be made right, not contained. A contained intelligence would indeed be useful, and it might even be smart enough to give us mathematical solutions to aspects of the control problem, but ultimately, it could not act in the real world to prevent other rogue intelligences, which is what would be needed for a golden age of humanity. Tell it not to do that again. The problem with telling such a powerful intelligence not to do that again is that we don't have the chance to discipline such a powerful entity. Once the ASI has begun to unleash its plans onto the world, there is no do-over. There is no stopping it. There would be no chance to tell it not to do it again. 
get the super intelligent ASI to design a safe ASI. While this sounds smart, an ASI could simply design another ASI with the same goal in mind. But if we trust it, then it could leave hidden bugs in the software that allows the new design to carry out the former's goals. As a result, the outcome is the same as unleashing the original ASI into the wild. What these examples are meant to demonstrate here is that once we create an intelligence which is smarter than us and is allowed to interact with the outside world, then we should be prepared to understand that we are no longer the dominant species on the planet, unless if it is created through very careful planning, research and cooperation. We need to work together and take our time not to rush this, for this could be the last important creation that humans ever need to make. If an ASI is made correctly, then the next few centuries could become a paradise. But the opposite is also true if we do not create one with caution. Until next time, thanks for watching.